Aloha, I am Shane Robinson. I live and work on the North Shore of Maui, and I'm a mixed media painter and photographer. I think it's a typical story that, like a lot of artists, I was always drawing and coloring, and it was really important to me to color inside the lines. Growing up on a farm, we made everything, and if we needed a tool, if we needed a fence or whatever, we made it, and we learned that way from a very early age. I fell into computers, though, in high school, and got kind of pulled away from the art, and I taught myself to program and ran a programming and database company for 16 years. About a year before I moved here, at the urging of a photographer friend, I picked up a camera and started to do some painting. The morning after becoming really frustrated with my failure to find out how to produce abstract photography, I was in the kitchen doing dishes and there was this interesting pattern in the bottom of a stainless steel pan. So my camera was there, grabbed it, shot it, and when I looked at it, it was like in the Matrix when Trinity calls in and says, I need to learn how to fly a helicopter. That's the best way I can describe it. It downloaded from the universe into my brain how to do this. The first criteria I established, I believe on that first day of experimentation, was that the finished work happened in camera. I don't use Photoshop or any other image editing or painting application. It remains today the most important criteria that happens in that quarter of a second or that sixth of a second in my communication with whatever the subject matter is. Once we moved to Maui and I was able to get a studio, then the paintings really began to flourish. We say that we vibrate at the same frequency of Maui. I always wanted to be a painter. I can remember that now clearly, that that's where I thought I would go. And it wasn't until the iPad came out that I started experimenting with painting digitally. Painting on the iPad then reignited my interest in wanting to explore actual physical painting on canvas and panel. Finishing paintings with resin instead of varnish has become a very popular way to seal and protect them. So I use a unique process of wet sanding and dry sanding with the final step being buffing with wax. That allows all of the color to show through and in fact leaves its most amazingly smooth and seductive surface that people love to touch. And I encourage touching. I love when people come up to touch the paintings because the reaction is almost always the same. Oh, that feels so good. I came to painting with the ability and understanding of how to make panels, my own stretch canvases. Some days I call it panel day, and I enjoy almost as much the creation and building of my panels. So knowing that the entire piece originated in my mind and was formed by my own hands and my own tools. Currently, I'm using either square formats or dimensions based on the Fibonacci sequence, which is one, one, two, three, five, eight, where the following number is a sum of the previous two numbers. It's very close to what's called the golden ratio or the golden rectangle that artists and architects have been using for centuries. I used to think of the painting and the photography and the three-dimensional work, the building of the panels as separate and isolated events in the studio. But the more I work, the more I realize that they support and cross-pollinate each other, and that's sending my work in exciting and creative new directions. The painting process is much more iterative than the photography, whereas the photography has to happen, per my criteria, in that quarter second. The paintings can take days, weeks, months. Actually, some of them aren't done yet. They were started four years ago. I don't approach them with an idea in mind. Some of them might have more structure, but color can change, the entire painting can change, and sometimes I get to a point where I gesso over the entire thing and start over. <laughs>